the 3D best lift without a vertical scar called in Germany <laughs> the Hafner lift because I have introduced it and uh, it was so popular. Uh, first, I will present you now uh, this method, this new method, uh, uh, so that the fullness of the upper pole and the right position of the nipple can be achieved while the vertical scar is abandoned. I'll show you now how traditional max epoxy works and what are the principles of the new 3D breast lift without a vertical scar. So, here are the principles of conventional mastopexy. First, <coughs> uh, the conventional mastopexy involves uh, reducing or narrowing the lower pole, which is uh, supporting for the upper pole. Then, the nipple aerial complex, the NAC, is shifted upwards and it obtains a better position in the center of the breast. The end support of the entire breast is given by skin resection and skin tightening, resulting in an inverted T-scar or in a vertical scar. Uh, conclusions. The principle of conventional breast lift is the supporting and pushing of the lower pole. The NEC must be separately shifted and pushed upwards. It moves not with the breast itself. The skin tightening by vertical scar is a fundamental support for the entire breast. It ensures a good breast shape with longevity of results. So you can ask uh, after that, uh, and you can uh, <coughs> see that there are doubts about the breast lift without a vertical scar, because if we don't excise the excess skin, how should it function? Here are some reviews by plastic surgeons from around the web who hasn't seen my technique and result yet. 3D breast lift is not possible without vertical scar. It must be an advertisement only. Professor Magnus Noah, Germany. All of us perform our breast lift in three dimensions. What should a 3D breast lift be? The illusion of breast lift can only be reliably achieved by resection the lower pole, excess tissue, and filling the upper pole with an implant. The auto augmentation is ineffective. It is for Eric Svensson, Candace, USA. And he speaks uh, by convention mastopexy about an illusion of a breast lift. So, after hearing about my masterpexy technique without vertical scar, wrote me as Swanson as follows. Hi, Thomas. So, those piercings are very popular in Germany too, I see. In my opinion, if a patient needs a lift, they need a vertical scar. Otherwise, the lower pole is too boxy. Of course, I don't know your details <coughs> of your technique. But as you know, I'm not a fan of auto-augmentation techniques with Mac Kishok's memorably deride <clears throat> as cabinet marketing fantasies. I've evaluated them. <clears throat> uh, in fact, Eric Svensson evaluated 800 cases of breast leaf, and uh, he evaluated uh, 82 <clears throat> uh, scientific papers on leading surgeons, leading plastic surgeons all over the world. So here is my answer. Well, <clears throat> all my colleagues have right. New methods require also advertising. In fact, all of us work in three dimensions and use vertical T or perior scar. The result of the breast slip is always better with an implant with which we restore the lost volume also. Nevertheless, I will show you now that there is a new method of breast lift with which we can reach the ideal 3D uh, symmetrical breast shape even without an implant if the verticals are abandoned. How is it function? If I <coughs> begin my consultation, I show the patient what I do. I reposition the whole breast with the nipple together, as like here. Uh, 
In the surgery, I release the whole breast and, and make a rear reposition and not only <coughs> a support by resecting the lower pole. The neck, the NEC, moves with the whole breast together. My patient understand very well how this method functions and <coughs> show, show it. So here's a case. Here's a small protic breast with a good skin. In this case, a 3D reposition lift without a vertical scar is possible. Note, if we would enlarge a protic breast, then would, um, then would exist a larger protic breast, but not a, a real breast. After the first session, you see a shortened breast without any good projection. So, to achieve a perfect 3D projection in a Miami style, the protic breast should be first repositioned and fixed. Then, in the second stage, we place an implant, and with them, we reach a Miami breast without a vertical scar. And this scar is very inconspicuous. It's only a semicircular scar. It's a very, very minimal scar. Implants are fully covered with four muscles. The longevity of the results is by this own internal breath. So here's another case. It's a larger protic breast with a good skin. A breast lift with an implant is possible without a vertical scar also in this case. First, we <coughs> reposition and lift the breast without a vertical scar. You know, the patient on the table on the left side, it's an inner overcorrection. After that, both breasts are corrected very well without a vertical scar, and seems if they had an implant, the patients had no implant. It is her own breast. So, the case. Let's see the results. Large hanging breast <coughs> uh, in a grade four after body. That means a sagging of the NEC more of four centimeter below the inframammillar fold. Here's the result of the first step we have repositioned and shortened the breast. <coughs> and this breast is now uh, suitable to enlarge with an implant and to make the right 3D form without ptosis and without a vertical scar. Here's the <coughs> session and here's the end result. You see the symmetry is all three dimensions there a natural upper pole fullness without a vertical scar, and it's a 12 months result with longevity. And note, please, that the inframammillar fold is visible after the procedure and covered by the breast by ptosis before the operation. Another case of 3D breast lift with an implant. <coughs> the case reposition and an augmentation. So, I show you now another case uh, with uh, atrophic and thin skin and inelastic skin. Here is a vertical scar necessary. Here you can't abandon the resection and excision and tightening of the skin. Uh, and so on, you get its result. So, totic breast with parahim atrophy and skin atrophy, inelastic skin, can be sufficient corrected by only excising and tightening of the skin by means of a vertical or inverted T scar. Because of the parahim atrophy, a supporting submuscular augmentation is also necessary. So, in this case, a similar case, I have made a vertical scar, uh, a breast lift without a vertical scar, but with a new technique. 
Note this fullness of the upper pole, which is not given, but a simple, uh, simple leisure technique, or by the technique with the vertical scar. This is a modified leisure technique, not a leisure technique. So that is the Miami breast. Uh, <coughs> after, in a 3D form, with a vertical scar. So now <coughs> we go to another level, an expert level, a 3D mastopexy without a vertical scar and without an implant by large protic breast. Here is the case, and <coughs> most of the plastic surgeon says it is impossible to make a breast lift without a vertical scar or to reach a good form by this breast. The breast ptosis is more than four centimeter according to body. The NAC ptosis is more than three centimeter. There is an asymmetry and a flat thorax. Here's the result after one year. After 3D reposition lifting mastopexy, a natural look, well-shaped breast with pleasant projection, no breast ptosis, the NAC is elevated about 8.5 centimeter. There is an upper pole fullness. Uh, there is a symmetry in all three dimensions and a stable year after one year also. A 3D mastopexy without an implant. Uh, look at the contour, look at the changes. The contour before the operation is convex uh, concave and convex after the operation. These patients had no implant and these patients had no vertical scar. Look at the form. The fullness instead of flatness. The projection before low and high after the operation. The whole breast is well repositioned in terms of supported only by the lower pole. But <coughs> Eric Swenson wrote, judging results without measurements is like cardiologists working without an EKG. So therefore, I have made my measurements to this breast left, and you see the result. Uh, the ground point in the <coughs> width of the NAC is five centimeters. So <coughs> according that, by photographic measurements, we get an NAC lifting about 8.5 centimeter and a lifting of the breast parahem of about five centimeter. So together we have a full breast lift about 13 centimeter. There is a rounding and symmetry in sagittal, frontal, vertical levels of 3D symmetry. Another case. Here is a <coughs> patient also with a glandular ptosis about, uh, more than 4 cm, an NAC ptosis more than 2 cm with asymmetry and pet control. Here is the result after 6 months just with the uh, signs of uh, yield inflammation. It's a natural look of egg-shaped brown breast, no ptosis at all, visible inframamillar cord after the operation and covered before the operation. A very nice upper pore fullness, a symmetry in all dimensions. So if you think uh, these results comes automatically after a uh, operation with vertical scar after leisure or uh, uh, operation with a T-scar. It's not true. Eric Swanson analyzed 800 cases and made photographic measurements. And what you see is a typical results uh, after an operation with an inverted T-scar. It's an average result with upper pore flatness and with concavity after and before the operation and uh, ptosis that keeps. Uh, the breast is lifted a bit, but there is a rest ptosis. You see the result with my 
<coughs> method, you see the repositional lifting. It's a tremendous lifting of the whole breast without a vertical scar. The fully prominence of the upper pole and a perfect symmetry of all, all three dimensions. So, here are the results of the <coughs> uh, measurements of Eric Swanson. All patients group demonstrate significant elevation of the breast mount. The upper pole contour is linear before and after the surgery. The lower pole is slightly boxy by conventional mastopexy. Breast implants boosted the breast projection and upper pole projection regardless of the technique. Here are the measurements after my operation. The whole breast is so repositioned and lifted that no ptosis exists, inframammillar fold is visible again. The breast mount is elevand, elevated <coughs> with the breast together, here about six centimeter, according to photographic measurements. You see the difference in the breast? The lower pole is uh, elliptical before the operation and semicircular after the operation. The upper pole is straight before the operation and convex after the operation. Here are the measurements, the results of the measurements. The NAC and parenchym lifting is together 11 centimeter. So, summary, 3D mastopexy without a vertical scar. What are the requirements? Protic breasts with elastic skin can be lifted and can have a proper 3D symmetry without a vertical scar using the new reposition lifting mastopexy. The requirements, the skin. The skin should be elastic, not too worn out. In case of too much skin, excess and inelastic skin, an excision with a vertical on T-scar is a better option. The gland and the connective tissue should be a bit compact, rather firm. Fat and soft tissues can be ensured. The volume. Empty breasts need also an implant to get the proper projection. However, some of them can be lifted also without a vertical scar. Thank you. I want to congratulate Dr. Thomas Heft.